a quick demonstration of the audio sine wave generator. Um, this shows a picture of the system. There's the R2R uh, resistor ladder network that is the digital analog converter. There's a little breakout board, so it allows us to plug in a stereo jack that goes to my amplified speakers. And the analog discovery is just an oscilloscope type function, and we'll be looking at that. Here's the output of this thing uh, on my analog discovery. See, it's a very nice sine wave, a uh, true sine wave. Um, here's a, the, what we're showing is the loop part, the loop function. All it does is read the potentiometer multiplied by five, so we get a number between zero and 5,000. So that allows us to adjust up to 5,000 Hertz. The sample rate on this thing is right now set to about 16 kilohertz. So we could even go a little higher if we wanted. We're printing that out to the serial monitor and you can see the serial monitor output in this little wedge here. Um, right now it's set to about 70 Hertz. So that's the time domain. Here's the frequency domain, a, an FFT display. So let me turn up the amplitude and turn up the frequency. And you can see the frequency um, as I turn the potentiometer is now up to 580 Hertz. And that corresponds nicely to the to the frequency display 575 kilohertz. Let's go up to say 1.72 kilohertz. And the frequency I've dialed in with my potentiometer is 1735. So pretty accurate. Um, maybe not laboratory grade, but um, it's a pretty nice um, system.